Hey, what's up? So there is this OS called Atlas OS. This is a super light version of Windows 10, or you can say this is heavily customized and heavily debloated version of Windows 10. Actually, let me give you guys a demo here. I have downloaded the ISO file for both Windows 10 and Atlas OS. So Atlas OS is only 1.44 gigabyte. And this is a Windows 10 official ISO file. And as you know, it's going to be huge. It's going to be big. It's 5.47 gigabyte. So Atlas OS is almost 70% smaller than Windows 10 official ISO file. So in this video, I'm going to try out the Atlas OS. And if you want to try this out, then I will also put link in the description for this website. From here, you can download it. So now I'm going to fire up the VMware and let's install Atlas OS. I'm going to give like eight gigabyte of RAM to it. I don't think we need too much of uh, storage so I'm just gonna leave it to 60 and rest I think everything is looking fine I'm just gonna leave the graphics memory to 8 gigabyte max and I'm just gonna hit ok now let's begin installing let's see if there are any differences between Atlas OS and official version of Windows 10 installation straight to the uh, terms and condition where we have to accept and select the drive okay okay let's see is caused this lag. <laughs> it, 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 it doesn't supposed to be having. Come on. I, I have installed a regular version of Windows 10. I'm gonna run both of them at the same time. You'll see that regular one just runs fine on any resolution. So maybe Atlas OS needs to be installed on a actual hardware. Who knows? But. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It, it should be able to run on a virtual machine too. So this is the normal version of Windows 10 and and I'm run, I'm going to run this on a full resolution and you'll see it just runs. Okay, there is no lag or anything like that. So I might have to switch to the lower resolution on a uh, Atlas OS. So let's just do that. Okay. Because right now it's uh, it's still lagging. Okay, I'm going to go to the low resolution. Okay. Uh, if I can, because it's lagging like I go. Okay, when I go back to the uh, lower resolution, yay, it works. <laughs> okay, let's let's try to install VMware tools again, and let's see if this works this time. I'm going to restart. A PC once I change the resolution. The, <laughs> I'm wasting my time to fix this now. I supposed to be doing a comparison between Windows 10 uh, versus Atlas OS, you know, but I'm stuck here. <laughs> okay, now it's working. I think it's, it's working. Uh, I'm gonna restart. Okay, we needed a graphics driver or display driver. Okay, that thing was missing. That was the main reason why Atlas OS was uh, lagging. All right. Now I think we are Gucci. Now I can do the review. Finally. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. It's running. Okay, there are no transitions, no nothing actually. Wow. Pretty impressive. So now I'm gonna go to the I can feel it like, you know, <laughs> I'm using a virtual machine, but just it feels so snappy, so fast, just, okay, there are uh, no transitions or no nothing like that. Maybe that's the one reason. And another reason is that uh, you can see CPU usage is like, wow, well, 1%. Let's go with the Windows 10, okay, I'm gonna, you can see there is a huge difference. Actually, no, <laughs> 46 background processes. CPU is like, okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay. That's normal. If your PC has like 1% CPU usage, that means your Windows is just doing fine, okay. And this is like normal version of Windows 10 with all the applications and whatnot. You know, people who say that uh, default Windows 10 sucks because it has lots of bloats. I mean, show them this, I think. <laughs> 
CPU usage is like almost the same as the, uh, you know, Atlas OS, which is a debloated version of Windows 10. And I can definitely see that a physical memory is used less. I have eight gigabyte of memory, right? Yeah. Let's see how much we have in the Windows 10 here. Uh, yeah, eight gigabyte. So CPU usage is almost the same. Okay, but memory is like cut down to half. Wow, I, I, that, that, that is uh, good, I think. Yeah, just look at it. Memory usage is like 10, 11% in Windows 10. It's, uh, it's like double, 23, you can see there, right? So that's, that's a good sign, okay? Doesn't affect too much on CPU, you know? CPU is like almost the same. And there is a huge difference like background processes you can see there are only 17 background processes it could have been less but i installed vmware tools so now it has maybe two or three more extra background processes if we go to the default windows 10 you can see there is like 41 background processes going on okay there is a antivirus which is actually using the most of the RAM you can see there and task manager is the only program which is actually using a CPU Windows is actually pretty smart it knows when to run program and when to use and consume the CPU it you know even if there are too many uh, programs installed on Windows 10 11 you know they won't use your CPU and memory all the time they will only use when uh, they are they are being used okay so that's that and uh, yeah to be honest actually my honest opinion atlas os feels snappy okay this is the start menu because it's heavily deep loaded so there is no tiles or no, no nothing like that and these are all the applications it has only some useful applications now you know if you want to use any application you can download from the internet and uh, yeah that's that i mean i don't know what to say i don't see a huge difference just only one thing here <laughs> a pretty huge difference is that memory usage is less because there are less programs but the cpu usage is like almost the same it's not going to boost your uh, gaming performance because if your PC sucks, it sucks. doesn't matter what you do to Windows. You know, if game requires you to have a good CPU, good memory, good GPU, then you will need those. Okay. No matter how much you deep load or tweak Windows, you can't make huge difference in gaming you can see th this is a real example even with the 40 background processes you know the cpu usage is like almost the same as the atlas os that's all as i said if you want to do a gaming you have a potato pc and you find out that there is a light version of windows 10 11 you install it and you expect to get like 60 constant fps before you were getting 30 no you cannot maybe you will get 31 fps but no don't expect 40 50 or 60 fps that's it <laughs> I, I, sh I, I i don't know what to say that's it hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions suggestions do the comment and if you want to try this atlas os go to the link in the description uh, and download it I'm not saying that this is a bad OS or anything like that. There are many light versions of Windows OS and this is one of those. If you like light version, okay, Windows, then no one is going to stop you. And, you know, there are some good things about a light version of Windows OS is that you can use local account. There are less bloats and uh, it is more privacy focused. You know, if you don't want to use Microsoft account, you don't have to i just want to say one thing the bloated version of windows are clean that's all yeah they are clean feels uh, 
you know smooth because all of the animations are turned off and all that so you can see what atlas os does okay reduced processes okay it has less uh, apps to run in background so obviously okay it will give you more storage because it's like very small and you know there is a privacy thingy and there is a memory efficient yeah that is totally uh, true actually if you have less applications it will use less memory less ram everything less so that is actually true so that's it hope you enjoyed it i'm not gonna talk too much i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye-bye.